Hello, I am Brian Foster, and my videos all are about spiritism. Today we're going to talk about what will happen to corrupt leaders. We all have seen them. We all have our own opinion of who they are, what country they are, what should happen to them, and instead what always happens to them, they make more money and they, they just be become successful in the eyes of our culture. But what will really happen? Spiritism tells you and Spiritism reveals that karma is real and that whatever we do in this life will reflect in the next or later in this present life. No one escapes what they have done in the past. For every action there is a reaction. So when you see a corrupt politician or leader or someone in charge of your, your company who's stealing money, doing anything that you think is, is below what is honest. Do not worry about that. Do not think about revenge. Do not, do not, you know, you can absolutely, if you like, not vote for them, try to reveal what they've done, but don't worry about punishing them yourselves. And punishment won't take place. It will all be education, but they will be educated. It will be tough love. Karma will deal with it. People who have been corrupt in their present life shall learn valuable lessons in their later lives. Now, let me give you an example of myself. I have been told in media meetings that in the past I have been a leader who was corrupt. In fact, I have been told I have done this multiple times. I have been put in positions of power and instead of helping the people, I have accumulated wealth for myself. Now in this life, what's happened? Well, I've never been able to accumulate wealth. And in fact, I've worked at companies two times where I have been in a pretty, you know, not completely high position, but a pretty high position enough to, to be given a couple of years of salary when they were bought out. Each time I thought I invested it wisely and yet it all disappeared through different methods. It was nothing through my own drinking or drugs or anything like that. It's just, just through investments that went wrong. I thought were safe. I was never allowed to accumulate much wealth. I understand now why. Let me go back further. I have been told that in even further previous lives, I have been also in a position of power and I've had slaves and I have tortured and cut off their feet to prevent them from escaping. What happened to me in subsequent lives? I do not know for certain, but I believe I was born extremely disabled. And in fact, that's probably why I have a friend now who I really like because I was told that friend took care of me when no one else wanted me. Of course, why would they want someone who has completely disabled and is useless? I have paid for my past wrongs and of course I still am committing wrongs and I still will have to pay for things I have done incorrectly. Hopefully not anything major like I've done before. So for those who were under my governance who looked at me and said, oh that horrible person, he's corrupt, I hope something bad happens to him, well God bless you all. You are correct. I have learned and I have learned for the best and it has been the best thing that happened to me. I learned I don't need all this material goods. When I lost when I lost it twice, oh, you cannot believe how how angry I was and how regretful and just stressed and everything and thought about it over and over again. And finally I woke up and said, I'm okay. I can live. I don't need this. I can live without it. And now I'm much happier. The more good you have, the more stress you have. I am free of most of that. I still have goods. I still have house and I still have a car and things that we need in our daily lives. But nothing excessive and I do not miss it. So corrupt leaders, take it from me who have been in your position that you will have to pay for that wrong in a subsequent life. If you want your next lives to be peaceful and smooth and able for you to learn and 
and be with people you love without drama. Be as good as you can. Work on your conscience. Work on following your conscience. Don't rationalize away why you can accumulate goods through nefarious means because everyone else is doing it. It doesn't work. Just because you haven't been caught on earth, that doesn't mean you won't be tracked and, and, and set right by the spirit world. Everything. Now, this is important. Everything you think, do, other people think and do, everything is recorded by the spirit world. Nothing is hidden from God, just as Jesus said. Not a hair on your head. Well, it's missing. It does not notice by God, I'm paraphrasing. God knows everything, our deepest thoughts. Just keeping your mouth shut doesn't mean anything. God knows your intention, why you want to do stuff, even if you think you've acted honorably, but for a dishonorable reason. God and Jesus knows it all. You're not fooling anyone. I have tried and I have failed, and yet it was good for me. It was a good failure. Now I understand. So I hope this helps you think and not stress over like, oh, this terrible person and I can't do anything about it. You don't have to do anything about it. The spirit universe, the spirit world, Jesus and God will take care of it. And they'll do it in the most efficient and loving manner possible. But it will be effective. And if they don't learn it in one life, they will be given a more dramatic episode in their next. So if you would like to learn how all this works, how there is a spirit world, how there are spirits around us helping us, how Jesus controls and leads the planet Earth and all the heavens and the lower zones around the Earth, please read my book, The Spirit Universe. Spiritism has revealed the reality of our existence. It will inform you of how the world and the universe actually works and what your place is in it and why you are here to improve yourself and it will reveal how your future is all planned out. God bless.